What is going on guys? We are back with another video today in our Face of the Franchise series. It is week four, but before we get into any of that, we have a word from your sponsor. I don't have a sponsor, but our sponsor in the game. At least at least someone's getting sponsors, right? Dude, I haven't actually looked at my freaking business email in like six months. It's like the great... Nike uh, is concer uh, con consulting you, Care, if you want your own shoe. Oh my. Hey, just so you know, I talked to Nike rep the other day. They're really pleased with the partnership so far on and off the field. Art collected? Oh, act. <laughs> that doesn't say art. <laughs> um. Yeah, we should get a new shirt, though. Sounds good to me. Okay, well, there you go. Glitchy. It's not talking. That's weird. Oh, well, that was... Wow, that was a lot. Thank you. Uh, division rivalry, obviously. Carter Landry's mission, and then side activity. So I think Landry's first. Help him through a tough spot and turn him into an X Factor. Tough spot. How do I help him, though? I'm a receiver. Man, you were locked in practice. Last few practices, you've taken up a level. Where is that coming from? It's, re and it's early, and I know our record don't show it, but I know we've got something special. We don't. I'm just trying to make sure that I'm doing my part this time to raise the rest of the team. This time, you all right? You all right. It's nothing you got to worry about, but unfortunately, I just caught some bad breaks and took some stuff for granted. But like I said, this ain't a mistake. I'm looking to make again. Kind of like you was built different. You got to focus on leading the whole team, not just me. Uh, we're not so different. I got you. I don't know. We probably are different. I don't even know him. Well, later on the whole team, you're included too. I've got you this time, and I know you've got me. You man, we're a gr you're a great player and even better person. Just stay locked in and keep working hard. Do that, and we're golden. He gets ten agility for the rest. Really? So if we win the game, he gets an X factor, which is I mean, he's a tight end. We have Kittle, so I don't really care that much. Uh, but let's do a side activity. What do we got? What do we got? Is it helping the kids or sleeping with a bunch of hookers? Oh, it's just practice. Neither is fun. Uh, hard to believe that you have full season's worth of games under your belt. You don't even have... You're out there looking like the man. Playing the Seahawks next. What do you want to focus on? This is a big game. This is a big game. So it's one of the real things. So team bonding or physical... I think physical recovery is the most important. We got to take care of that body. Big time. Stamina... Catching traffic, weight training with O-line. Three plus strength for the O-line, which is permanent. Here's the thing. I like you guys. I love you guys, but I hate Jimmy Garoppolo. I don't know if I'm going to be here permanently. So, um, yeah, I'm going to do Nike Sports Science. One of the reps from Nike. I want to be on that too, which is sick. Our sports science would suck so much. It's like, how does he get from zero to two so fast? Because our speed is so bad. Find out on sports science. We can get... Can we get bazooka? Why is it unlocked? It says it's unlocked. Oh, my Lord. How do I do this? All right, fellas. Rivalry week, and you know the drill. We're going to find out how much hot shot rookie Jerome Pierre knows about our history. How is this helping? How is this helping? Which former Niners offensive coordinator has the second most wins in Seahawks history? Uh, Shanahan. Uh, which... Former Niners OC was Mike Holmgren a C a, a Niners OC? I'd imagine it's Holmgren. Is it? Holmgren was OC here from. I mean, how am I supposed to know? How am I supposed to know? How am I supposed to know that? I did know it, but how did I know? How was I supposed to know? Next question: In our 45 games against Seattle, we've hit the 40 point mark only once. Who is our starting quarterback in that game? 40 points once. I wouldn't know. Steve Young. Alex Smith. Okay. I mean, that was a very good team, so it doesn't absolutely shock me. I should have known, actually, because they probably wouldn't have put up that many points back in the day. What was the last year we swept our two meetings with Seattle? Um, I don't think it would have been 2011. I would say 2013 or 2017. I'm going to guess 2017. Really? Okay, that's a little surprising. I thought it was going to... That? 2011? I'm a whiz. I got one out of three. Your X-Factor st starts and stays... I need to start answering these incorrectly because I actually don't like when that happens. Luckily for me, it won't take much. Your brand manager wants to hang out. I've got a game to play. Leave me alone. All right, Jordan told me the ticket requests are crazy for this game. Everyone trying to get out to see the big rivalry game. Are you ready for it or what? I'm hyped. 
I can't call it another game because it is it's bigger. It's bigger than that. I'm gonna make sure these Seattle fans know that I'm gonna be a big problem for a while. Hopefully, hopefully. But I, I will be a big problem. But will I be a big problem to them? Because uh, we may be on a different team. Because can I demand a trade? Here we are. Unfortunately, it's not a nighttime game. I thought it would have been, but it is not. Made some changes. Still need that sleeve on. Shoulders sore. Vaccination and all. <laughs> that actually is the left one. I, I did use that one, uh, ironically enough. Jimmy Garoppolo and Trey Lance could see a shift in the power dynamic with one of them essentially losing their starting job. Can you guess which one? <laughs> Jimmy Garoppolo is the starter. It's not playing very well. Can you can you guess which one it may be losing their job? Just saying. Yeah, there there may be one of those two. Of course, Seattle defense isn't the craziest in the world as it used to be, but that offense is obviously a very tough one to stop. So we need to do our part. We need to put up points early and often. Put the pressure back on them because we know Russell Wilson is going to make crazy things happen. We do not know how many opportunities we're going to get with even a chance to lead. We might not even have a single chance. So even one bad drive could lose us this game. We're on a bit of a slump. Jimmy Garoppolo's throwing is just, I mean, some of the worst I've ever seen. Left-handed Jay Cutler at this rate, basically. It's not good going against the Seahawks in a high-pressure situation. We are at home, though. So uh, we got we to gotta have high hopes, I suppose. And as expected, Seattle does score on their first drive. However, only three. Only three. I also do not remember if it's still on 10-minute quarters. I may have to change that. I'll be honest with you. A little, a little immersion break. But we're fine. We're fine. We're back. We're back. It's uh, wh what? Quarter length? You can't change that. It's 15 minutes. I will admit, I may have forgotten that I have to be the one to hike it. I was like, what are you doing, Jimmy? Hello? Right here. That's not bad. Good find. The route running guru. We gain 22 on the play. Let's go. They're going to challenge it. <laughs> Why? Why? I would have been like, oh, that could be out. And then I'm like, oh, it's PK. I'll just keep the flag in. Doesn't matter. Your, you know, your lackings, your shortcomings on defense because he is looking good. Once again. Oh, what a play. Slips off. We're running. Switch hands. Oh, that's a rookie move. You got to switch hands. Why is my guy calling for it when we're not open? Next gen stats, absolute god tier stuff. Turning back around to recover the pass, and we were gone. Look at us. We have our heads so high. It's like we're literally going to sniff Jesus. From the 10 yard line, we miss our block. We do recover, though. It is Jamal Adams, a very tough guy to, to get a hand on, so I'm not going to blame it too much if missing him. I mean, I'm pretty open. Cut up field, and we're short by a yard. I like it. I mean, Bobby can make the play, but I like it. Inside zone to Mostert. And takes a bad angle, but doesn't matter. Bobby getting handled by someone else. And Mostert slips off for the touchdown, which will give us the lead. And unfortunately, as we would have expected, not holding that lead for very long. Right at the end of the first quarter, we are now down by three. If he would have waited for him, maybe he would have had a chance. We gained two on the RPO look. Definitely off to a little bit of a, a better start today. No doubt about it. And not a bad find. Kittle. Uh-oh, Kittle fumbled. Please tell me he was down. I do not know if he was down. It might have been. Well, I guess he is. Might have been a hit stick by Bobby. And just like that, we are now down 10. Home team receivers can receive bad hot routes. And right at the middle absolutely just stuffed again that yard could be huge here you know we get six yards could have been short instead and good find i like the safe look probably could have trusted me jimmy garoppolo off to a decent hot seven for seven start obviously not really asking him to do too much to your you know so far first and ten from the 41 yard line a drag play right here baby right here baby slipping off we got some moves that rack them up ability. Right here. There we go. Nice play, Bobby Wagner. It's an honor. It's an honor to have my leg grabbed and, like, let, I don't want to say it. I was going to say my leg in between his legs, but, you know, I said it. Here we are. Not a bad route. Where does he go to? 
And another completion, 10 for 10, 126 on the game for Jimmy. Really precise offense outside of our fumble, which isn't really a precision problem. It's a getting hit sick really hard problem. Inside, nope, he's going to go to, I don't know who that was to. First incompletion of the game is an absolutely god-awful throw, but still have a chance to redeem yourself. Third and seven. Bobby Wagner on the inside. We got the slant look. That is not a great route. And that is a terrible throw and decision. Thankfully, we get a hit, you know, a hit on it. Chance at a field goal. We take it. We get it. And Seattle is going to be taken down rather quickly. Now we're just going to run a trap play. <laughs> Let's keep it simple. Just hand them the ball. Run. Run straight. And, I mean, if it wasn't for the freaking false star call, it'd actually be a really good run. We have a pretty big route here. Oh, so open. Maybe not so open. I mean, maybe a little, a little, uh, you know, ambitious, but obviously, you know, we have enough of a leverage. We're a big guy. How are they in the zone or in the momentum zone? Like, hello? Take it. I mean, they're giving us the drags. I know the clock is ticking away here, but... We got the time. I mean, we have the time. Ooh, that was a really good cut up field. And I don't know what's happening. No, a fumble! Another fumble! You have to be joking me! I don't know if it's actually a fumble. Because whenever you're not going to be on the field, they automatically take you off the field. Right here. You got to throw that sooner, dude. Your throw power sucks. So if we have a route... I mean, it's a little too late to try and waste the clock, right? Like, you, you might as well throw it again and just hope they don't do anything with it. But if you're going to throw the ball to me and I need to get it right at the 30, you got to throw it when I'm at the 26 because your throw power is just that bad. Please find me. Please find me. What is this guy's issue? But, of course, we do get the ball to start the second half. And with that being said, oh, I like Kittle. You got to take that. Oh, there you go. Better find than me. Gotta try to get a block. That's Jordan Brooks. I don't expect to beat him. Right here. Right here. Is this guy for real? Oh, and we get no blocks. Insta sacked. How in the world is Jimmy Garoppolo going to play quarterback if that's the look? Mostert hopefully doesn't forget about what route he is. And he throws it way early. The ball's going to be incomplete. That is not a good start to the second half. Let me tell you, this play gets us in trouble so much. It's unbelievable. Right here. Like, I was so open from the gate, and, like, he just doesn't see it. I don't understand how. Nice. Gets it to Carter. First down. No. What? Man, Carter sucks. He sucks. They've been in their, like, momentum advantage thing, like, all game. That's a really bad route. It's an even worse throw. Let's see it. Right here. Let's be honest, you can't throw deep. And I thought for a moment I was going to get in between. I thought for a moment. I'm going to throw to Mostert anyway, so what does it matter? Right here. Jump up. Good catch, buddy. Terrible throw again by Jimmy. We get the first down, though. Little X thing on him. I really want to see what happened because I felt like we had people open and he decided just not to throw it. Oh, bad timing. That's not his fault. Bad timing on the block. And then once again, Mostert has just been awful. All right, we're a hot route here. We're important. I'm not open there. Come in. Get in there. Damn it, dude. We got to go for this, right? The coach is going to agree. What? A field goal? I mean, I'm proud we finally scored, but what in the world is happening? This is a bad route. I did the route like they said. I don't like that throw. I like the you. I like the line. Uh, the receiver though. I like it. I just went for it all. There you go. Good find. Six minutes left. We got a shot. It's not the best shot, but it's it's one. It is a shot. Go back to the same play. One up. Tight end. No, oh, Mostert. I know it's not even the five minutes, so it probably doesn't matter, but just go out of bounds anyways. Just, pr you know, practice good etiquette. Right here. And that's just Jimmy Garoppolo throwing the game again. Nice. That's a GG. Good job, Jimmy. 
What a throw, dude. You can't even throw a slant. You suck. Another loss in the books for the Niners. Jimmy Garoppolo always at the head of it. Always at the head of it. Unbelievable scenes around here. This has just been an absolute disaster these last few weeks. As Jimmy Garoppolo just seems to keep regressing. He has moments... But when it comes to making a throw that matters or a throw that is a little bit more difficult, he just sails it. He's, he's just not good. He's just bad. And if I can, I would love to see the fumbles we had because I really want to know if they all are fumbles. And if they aren't, we're probably going to turn fumbles basically off because that is something that I would assume would be an issue for this because you can't review it if you're... Uh, like here's one. You can't review it if it automatically sims you. I imagine this one was a legit fumble, though. Yeah, that was a fumble. There was another fumble in the quarter, if I'm not mistaken. This one, I would imagine, wasn't a fumble. Kittle as well. Wow, another legit fumble. Okay, never mind. We're not going to touch uh, fumble sliders. They actually got both of them. Let's take a look at the stats. Jimmy Garoppolo... I mean, completion percentage was okay in the... I mean, it definitely took a hit throughout the game, but, I mean, he's got to do better. Most are awful performance. We did all right for ourselves. Kittle, a couple other guys are okay, but just not good. I don't even want to talk to Carter because he was just trash himself, so it's not like he really has much to say in the matter. He didn't really help any. Oh, it's hard to come up short, but it still felt like the team is getting closer to turning things around. What's driving that change? I'm going to credit his energy. It's not his leadership. He is He's literally not even existent. It's Carter Landry, 100% for him to be almost a decade in and still bringing that kind of energy. Brings every day in and day out. It's inspiring, man. He came up short, but Carter still earns 4,500 XP. Well, he's like 30-something, so who gives a damn? Collect some rewards after talking to the media. I mean, we had a good game. We just did not win. This was your fairest game versus Seattle. Let me get to the podium before you ask me questions. Damn, dude. Damn, we are looking fresh, though. Uh, how does this loss sit with you? Speak on the rivalry. On to next week. Don't worry about the rivalry. We're upset right now. Losing a game against the division rival really hurt. I guess we're still going to talk about the rivalry, but we'll be back at it next week. I promise you that. You can't dwell on the past. You got to always look forward. Suck my ass. Sorry. But let's move on to the next week. See what we have in store for us when we face another division rival in the Arizona Cardinals. Got a lot of different things. Manny's challenge, side activity. First things first, though. Alonzo Aiden, brand manager. Let's see what we have to talk about today. Yo, All right, here we are with our basic clothes. What the hell? That's cold, bro. But listen, I'm a good friend, so I want to extend you the invite to head out to dinner tonight. I heard there might be some big names there. Besides you, of course. Let me know. So what was it? I couldn't tell because the subtitles were wrong. Was this the uh, the rivalry thing? Yo, I know you ain't been lighting it up like we hope you would. But you see that I mean, I literally put up 150 yards. I didn't get the touchdown. They call me Julio Jones. They call me Mike Evans. Okay, just relax. We're we're everything's everything's working. Everything's working. 50 cred. Is that what's supposed to hit on the top right? Because the top right has not moved since like last week. And then we move on to Manny's challenge because the practice thing is kind of what we want to do last. No defense is one of the best in the NFL when you face a team with fresh face like Jerome Piquet and coordinator Manny Kahui does that present a challenge? Obviously. Piquet's a bright future and Manny might too. Well, all due respect, we're not too concerned about a first year offensive corner. Yikes! I want to win this game now. Buda Baker is being a bastard. We don't like those guys. All right, Manny. You used to pick a, people picking apart my game, but the media is really focused on you this week because of what Buda Baker said. You holding up all right? I mean, things are fine. Got pretty thick skin, but it is unusual, that's for sure. If you have any advice on uh, how you deal with it, I'm all ears. Bruh. Are you serious? You're the guy. The team's got you. Speed is probably the matter. Nah, we got to go morale. We're, our morale's low right now. Think about what you told me when we met, Unite, to move forward, right? Just lean on the team. We've got your back this week, buddy. We, we've got it. We've got it. I 100% know it. We're, we're, we're fine. Score five-plus offensive touchdowns this week. Screw it. I'm on to it. I'm ready. God, I want to kill these Cardinals. I am a bird murderer. Damn it. I'm not. I promise. 
We want to remember that no athlete's legacy is defined by a single game. We're going all team this week. It's all team chemistry. Trainer Carter X Factor starts on team film study, team XP, and some rep. And X Factor starts on for mentoring the youth. Team film study. I'm sorry, Carter sucks. Okay. Whole team is going to get some extra film study in tonight. It's the best way. It's a really good upgrade as well. And in general, I'm liking it. Let's do this film study. Going no huddles for long stretches like the early 90s. Bills did really test the defense. Doesn't allow the defense the time to get the right personnel on the field. True. True, true, true. I like this. This is actually kind of sick. We used quite a bit in college for the same reason. Don't let them get a chance. Don't let them breathe. No mercy. Anyways, thanks for coming in from some fuel. Oh, well, that was quick. Uh, yep. So we got 500 rep and 2,000 XP for the entire team. Is the top right thing the rep? Because it 100% has not moved, like I said, like ever. I, I it's It says CR, which might be different. I'm confused as to why I'm not upgrading here. Here it is in the dome in Arizona. It's another daytime game, kind of maybe afternoon game. Do you got to admit, even though there are rivals, I'm liking the environment. I'm liking it. Going against uh, another underrated offense, for sure. Definitely an underrated offense. Uh, defense also, at times, can be underrated. Buda Baker, obviously, is super safety. Decent corner. Solid pass rush. Linebackers is maybe where we can try to uh, find some openings. But, yeah, this is, this is not a week that, you know, you can take too lightly. Obviously, we're all super pumped and all that. It would be super devastating to come out with a loss, especially a devastating loss, like, you know, 35 to, like, 12 or something. Really weird numbers, by the way. But obviously, we have high hopes. We got the corners back. The team's got our back. So they're obviously talking crap about us as well. But let's do it. The Cardinals start with the ball, and they struggle. Two minutes in, and it's our ball. We are at our own seven-yard line, though. Seven, uh, five team touchdowns. I'm going to be honest with you. Definitely not something I expect to get. Turn chase on the receiver. Don't need to, though, as Mostert is going to get a pretty damn good start. Gain's not, not bad. The Rays are blocking a little bit in their coverage down a little bit. Just a little bit. And that is just Jimmy Garoppolo causing bad, bad things to happen as usual. And Mostert's going to just get locked up. And we are going to have to punt. Short field, and of course, they utilize that short field for the score. Got two tight ends in that are really good players. Let's see if Jimmy Garoppolo can hit one of them. Just throw it. And we get some room. We get a block. Can we get another one? We can't. What's that, Buddha? Hey, Buddha Baker, what was that? Huh? What was that? I couldn't hear you. Huge gainer. And that's not bad, actually. And yeah, what up, Buddha? I'll chip you again. I will be in your face all day. Get Debo on that curl. I like what I've, I like what we got here, right here. I'm so open. What up, Buddha? Come on, get on the ground. You suck. First and ten. Let's see this uh, absolute degenerate Jimmy Garoppolo throw this ball. Not really open. Can't blame him. Don't tell me he just took the sack though. I'm open again. And, oh, you got me, Buddha. But guess what? What's what's that stick say? First down? Oh, damn. That sucks. Trying to get over there. See, you got to It's a timing route, and you just, like, the AI is just not going to throw it. It's not a bad look, actually. I like this play. Oh, that's a bad route. Oh, he's got him. That could be a first. Hurry up to the line. Screw up. A little bit of a high snap, and we get stuffed again. Oh, my Lord. Obviously, I'm never, I was never worried about getting five touchdowns anyways, but I just want to win. Who do you hit? Well, that was a little bit of a legal block in the back by me. Didn't affect anything, but could have affected our yards gained if they would have called it. We're going to run this out, right? We're going to start from the inside. Oh, that's not good. That was a very interesting decision. But here. Oh, I've got room. What up, Buddha? See you later, punk. All the way down to the 16-yard line. Good little chip block as well. Huge gainer. 
They lost their momentum just enough to give us a little bit of a breather. Let's actually go with this. There it is. What up, Buddha? Touchdown. Fourth of the year for us. We get on the board. It's tied up. Drag City. We are deadly on the drag. We're literally like a fat Wes Welker. That's not a bad look, but it's a bit of a bad throw, but he catches it. What a play, dude. And of course, I don't know if anyone's confused by it, because obviously on the screen, I can't see it either. But on the top of the screen, when it's out of view, I just look, and then, you know, the yard will change, or the clock will stop. Uh-oh, that's my fault. I don't know if he was actually trying to throw to the curl, but I tried to cut inside, and he kind of pushed me off my route. It might actually be something to do with their momentum as well that caused me to run the round and route, which I've never really thought about. No, it's nothing to do with that. It's just, like, pressure stuff. Not really that open. That is a bad read. Terrible read. With his throw power, it's, it's really bad if it's late. And once again, that's too late. Your throw power is bad. All right. I mean, you got some really good routes here, buddy. As long as the pressure doesn't get to you, you should be able to find someone, whether it's a first down or not. Right here. Nice. Oh, huge hit on me. I'm dead. Oh, good block! Run! Oh, it's a huge one. Buda Baker, what is up, buddy? If I catch a pass, I could score. If I'm in front of you guys, I can score. With Ayuk. Perfect blocking. Shielded off the first guy with my back. And then cut off the main man. Ayuk running for his life. Scores the touchdown that gives us the lead. Streak from us. That is not a beautiful sight. That is, that is a bad sight. I don't want it. I will go deep, though, if you want to take the shot. I'll give you the chance, you know. That I will never. That was peak blocking for me. I will never beat that. I will never, ever beat that. Not going to get that off. Throw it, though. And obviously, going to call a timeout now. You know, they still have a chance, but at least if you run it here, they can't throw up a heave, get lucky, and catch it. If they do that, they might just run out of time straight up. And most are. you got to do better than that. We need to waste a little bit of clock, get some more yardage. Should be fine, though. Halftime lead for once. Is that... Is this some sort of sick joke? This is really good. That is not a good decision. I'm not saying I was much more open, but I was more open. Simply put. All right. I mean, we've got a big body, so we should be on these more often. Do you want me to come closer to you? Like, I'm not necessarily open, but that's the route. This is basically a dead play at this point. That's just an awful throw. That should have been pick sixed. Step into that throw, and you got me a chance one-on-one. -on -one. I mean, I was open in between, but obviously it needs to be timed there. And the Cardinals will tie the game up. You knew it wasn't going to last forever. Oh, not bad. Not bad. Really good route, obviously. Decent enough throw. Gives us a chance to convert. That's not good. Oh! No way! Debo Samuel focuses up and catches the ball. This could be the play of the year. Recover his last second to get it. Getting, I mean, no, I wouldn't say PI'd, but their arms are tangled. And oh my lord, look at the effort. He's never, look at his face. Always looking at the ball. That is insane. Play of the year, catch of the year. Especially if this is the reason we win. Right here. <gasps> this guy's got to be joking. Or me. Don't tell me just threw a pick six. Touchdown, Kittle. Good find. We're leading. And we have the ball. 33-yard line. Once again, they're ready for the, the run. So, I suppose we'll run the pass again. Run the pass, yep. Nice find. Mostert getting involved somehow. And number seven has been abused. Is that Brian Murphy? He's been abused multiple times by me. Cheap shot blocks. I love them. If they're not going to call it, I'm going to come with it every time. So we're going to give Moster a shot up the middle. Kittle. Nah, it's Buda Baker. He's a good baitster. Bait artist. Look at the scoreboard. What up, baby? B! Did he throw it to him? You've got to be kidding me. You've got to be kidding me. Did we hit the field goal? We did. And they just can't score. Oh, they can score. I didn't even notice that. They scored a touchdown. Oh, my God. We're only up by three. Please, dude. 
Not a bad little gainer there. What about five yards? He had a Ayuk wide open or whoever the hell it was, and he missed him. Like he just didn't throw it to him. Are you serious, Mostert? Run up the middle, dude. Are you effing me? Right here. Oh, that was a close call. He didn't throw it to the spot I was going to. He threw it where I was. Maybe we got a little excited with the, the call. Maybe we should have waited a sliver longer. And we're going to call this. This is not a bad audible here, actually. Oh! And guess what, Buddha? You can't stop this! I'm too good! We called for it off the line because we did beat him. I didn't call for it. Obviously, my guy did. And then after the fact, we got more open. And obviously, that was the way better read. So, I'm not open. Please don't. Why? First and 10, up three. Why, Jimmy? Not really. Take me. Oh, my God. Why? Please, Jimmy, stop it. That's not bad, but it's really good coverage. We're going to ask a lot from our kicker on this one, aren't we? Did he do it? I think we missed. And no, Jimmy, why, Jimmy, why? God damn it, Jimmy. What the hell? Why? That's GG. We lost. Good job, dude. That guy's a god. Oh, my lord. Please stop it, dude. Just stop. All right, we need to, we need to play desperately. I don't know who that's to. There it is. Double team me? Why? Jimmy Garoppolo not seeing the field well here at all in the fourth. The ghosts are flying. And unfortunately, for the fourth straight week, we will drop another game. Choking right in the fourth quarter. Jimmy Garoppolo has got to Garoppolo F himself. Get off the team. You are dog. He's so bad. He's just not a good player. Jimmy Garoppolo is selling this team down the river. And the river is made of just stones. There's no water. So we're just stuck. Actually, that's not that's actually not bad, right? That would be like kind of at 500. No, the, he's selling us down the river. There's hurricane winds, and at the bottom are jagged edges. I don't care what the numbers say. We carried the hell out of him, obviously, and he just made some terrible reads. We finished with a nine for 155, one touchdown game. Debo Samuel was obviously pretty decent himself. Ayuk was okay, but this guy, man, Jimmy Garoppolo. Is there any way I can get him off the team? any way at all i will do it if i can i don't want to i don't after all that crap talking middle of the game with buddha i don't want to talk to him i don't want to talk to the media i don't want to talk to him i don't want to talk to anyone i just don't i simply don't there's a lot of talk throughout the week about how your offense would stack up against a solid defense what does this group need to do better moving forward where's more we need to stay united beyond that we just need to keep putting in the work good things will come if we're united and working hard and we trade jimmy garoppolo oh who said that was that manny you still earn 100 rep. I think it's glitched, by the way, because my the top of my screen is it's 100% not giving me XP, which is just fantastic. Yeah, you guys are the best. Regardless, if you guys have any ideas for uh, a rebuild or you know franchise series in the future, let me know in the comment section below. The dog's barking. Obviously, this series will continue if you guys still enjoy it, which I do enjoy it. It's just a little annoying when Jimmy Garoppolo is selling the way he does. The RP or the rep doesn't matter that much, but if you guys do know how to fix that, it would be much appreciated. I will say we're already pretty OP, and we don't even have that much speed yet, and our ability sucks. So if we actually had all those things, it would probably be a little too OP. So I'm not 100% mad that the game is broken and doesn't work ever, but if there is a way to fix it, I suppose, you know, that's kind of the way the game's supposed to be played. Let me know in the comment section below. But that's pretty much it. Thanks for... Oh, the first... If you know how to get rid of Jimmy Garoppolo or I can get traded... That's what I want to see. That's what I want to see. But yeah, that's pretty much it. If you guys enjoyed, leave a like and subscribe, especially for series like these where there's no guarantee that these will be long-term series. Uh, you know, it definitely helps a lot when I see that people want us, you know, continue, see them continued. Uh, maybe follow me on Twitter, Jumpy Care, second channel, Jumpy Care plays, and then Twitch.tv slash Jumpy Care for streams. That's pretty much it for me. 
There will be a rebuild, uh, I don't know, soon, I'd imagine. And that's about it. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys come back for next video. But until next video.